I spilled water on my shirt. Good afternoon. I'm recording this video because I want to fix some concepts I'm studying in my course. In this 2020 year, I've been taking a course because I, I want to um, create some experiences for my gap year and I need that to be in my application in order to get admitted to some universities. And I'm, I'm enjoying this course a lot. This course is about international trade management and I think it's going to add a lot in my professional life. Um, I've been four, I've been through four modules right now and the, the, the concept, the, the, the subject I'm going to talk about is about the INCO terms, the international commerce terms. I've been through them once in the first module and there are 11 of them. I made resumes about all of them and I studied, I studied them detail, detail with a lot of details. Mm -hmm. But as they came up in the fourth module two, I wanted to study them more and to search more deeply about them. Um, I'm, I'm recording these videos so, videos so I can record it and I can rem memorize it and fix it properly in my head. Um, also, I want to require them to practice my English and to uh, I'm trying not to lose the fluency, the fluency. And also, I'm gonna take my English to to the next level, not only to, just to talk and be able to communicate, to communicate, but also I want to add some technical terms to my spoken language so I can improve in these areas too. Well, there are eleven Inco terms. And the the most simple ones, would, which are the X works, the free carrier, the free alongside ship, and free on board. I think I, I am pretty pretty familiar with them. Um, but um, I'll start off with the CPT, which stands for carriage paid to. In this term, which can be used for all modes of transport, the seller, the exporter, has the responsibility to hire and pay the transportation until the arrival of the product on the country of the buyer, on the importer's country, in a determined scheduled place. Uh, th this place has to be informed on, at the moment of the, the, the closing of the agreement when the selling is being done. The seller must provide the custom clearance he has to pay the transport and he must deliver the the, the product on the, the this scheduled place we've talked about. But the and he also has a responsibility to load the the ship or the transport. These are all his responsibilities and his costs. Conversely, he his risks are only due until he makes the loading of the transport. For example, when he settles the merchant the, the merchandise on to the transport, be it a plane, be it a ship, be it a truck, and sends it to the importer's country, all the risks are transferred to the importer. The, then the importer has the choice if he wants or not to buy an insurance service. So um and, and the importer also has a responsibility to deal with importation custom clearances. These are not the sellers anymore. Well, I think it's basically it. And following on, we have the CIP, which stands for Carriage and Insurance Paid To. This term is very similar to the CBT because the the the, the the, the transference of risks and costs are all the same. But, um, the, the importer still gets the risks after the loading of the shipment, and, but instead, in this term, the seller must provide the insurance service. Um, well, well, I forgot the other term, so I'm gonna just make a review about the five other ones I've 
been studying before. And then my, when I finish the six ones, I'm going to come back and, and talk about the other ones. There are eleven then uh, left. In. Well, the first one and the most simple is the EXW, which stands for X Works. This is a term of least responsibility for the seller because he only bears the responsibility to deliver the product on his own address, be it, be it his fabric, be it his farm. Then all the responsibilities on the other hand are bared by the importer, like import custom clearance, uh, clearances, export custom clearances, loading shipment, unloading shipment, international freight insurances, all this are uh, the importer responsibility. These, this term can also be used in all modes of transport. Following on we have the FCA which stands for free carrier. In this term a uh, determined place has to be mandatorily informed at the moment of the agreement because the, the the seller must make must produce the merchandise and he must load he must load and put the the product that is going to be sold on to a carrier so th this is the first transporter he must hire and and pay the carrier to make it to delivery to a delivery place be it a port be it a place inside his own country, in the country of origin of the product. And he also must provide custom exportation, exportation clearance. After the product is properly loaded onto the carrier, all the risks are transferred to the importer. Well, I think this video is going too long. I don't think my, my, my cell phone is going to be able to hold longer than this. And I'm going to end up, I'm going to cut off here, and if I get any questions, more questions about it, I'll do another one. Bye.